Okay. So, yung ngayon, ito, ganito yung solution ni Lightfold. Gusto ko na ano, na something more detailed. Kasi, for example, tingnan mo itong So, for example, saan ang galing yung, so, so from illustration 2 and example 1A, ito. Ngayon, yung properties of the definite integral, tignan mo yung ano. So, first, yung sum ng integral ay, yung integral ng sum is sum ng integral. Anong theorem yun? That's theorem 4.5 so, lagyan mo ng justification. Theorem 4.5.11. Tapos, yung fact na mailalabas mo yung constant, tingnan mo yung 4.5.10. Tapos, footnote, ano ba yung, mga, yung full statement ng mga yan? So, from here, tapos ito yung ano, yung, let's, let's call this equation 1. Call this equation 2, 3. Para siya, Nick, alam mo yung two-column proof? Here, yeah. Tapos, so ito, from 1 and 3. And then simplifying. Yun lang. Inote mo lang na which theorem did you use. Yung, or actually pwede mo rin gawin na yung integral of a sum. Equals sum of integrals. Tapos ito, yung a cons, an overall constant in the integrand can be brought out of the integral. Yeah. Yeah. So, lagyan mo lang na no, justification. Pakita mo lang ganitong steps. So, if you look at, tingin tayo sa, ano, tingin tayo sa example, dun sa, ano, first exercise. Yung number 20. Four, ano ba yung 4.5.9? So, in number, let's do now, let, let me do number 30. Para magawa mo yung sa 20. Para makita mo yung 29. So, yung, yung sa number 30, um, Apply theorem 4.5.9. Solution 8. Ulo niya, no? Hindi, hindi niya label yung theorem 4.5.9. Yung illustration 7, yung, theory, yung I think theorem 4.5.9. Yeah. Tignan natin yung ano. So, for, exa for example, yung 30A. Uh, 5 negative 1 times 60X. That is going to be 6 times negative 1 minus 5. Ano yung justification? This is actually from illustration 1. Uh, sorry, illustration 7. Yan yung tinatawag ni Lighthold na theorem 4.5.9. Hindi yan label as that eh. So, kaya ang gulo ng... Kaya ang gulo ng ano eh. Pansin mo, hanapin mo, nasa yung theorem 4.5.9? Wala. Di ba? 4.5.8 tapos biglang 
naging 4.5 point 10. Tingnan mo. So, ang theorem 4.5.9 is actually yung result of illustration 7. Na, yung f of, na, ang ano, if you have a constant, so, ang theorem 4.5.9 is actually integral from a to b of a constant times dx is equal to constant times b minus a. So, yung sa 30, that's just going to be 6 times yung base. And then, uh, let me negative 1 minus 5. Negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. So, that's going to be negative 36. So, pay kompleto lang yun, no? yung number 29. Mabilis lang to. 29 ABC. Tapos gamitin mo yung theorem 4.5.9. Importante lang na masight mo. Yun yung ano dyan eh. Napaka-trivial. Na, mukha na siyang trivial kasi marunong na tayo mag-integrate. Pero ang idea kasi dito, kung hindi, ka, kung hindi mo pa pinuprove yung mga theorems, at eto pa lang yung mo, ano yung pwede mong gamitin? Uh, ano po? Hello? Hello po? Hello po? So, hello? Hello po? Meaning na ba? Yes. Meaning na po. Ah, sige. So, yun. Hindi, hindi naman mahirap yung 29. Gamitin mo lang yung integral of a constant is constant times yung subtract the endpoints. Yun, yun lang yung purpose niyan. So, gawin mo lang siya so that we can move over to the next thing. Tapos, inote mo lang sa ano, na yung theorem 4.5.7, hindi niya, et, etong ano, tiga, I think mas maganda, like, kung akong picture, Tapos, sulatan mo yung... Wala na mo yung clue. So, sulatan mo yung copy mo. I-note mo lang. Let's go with a sticky note. Na, ang theorem 4.5.9 is actually this. Teka, kung ako picture. Medyo kalo... Medyo ano eh. Medyo... Kaya, kaya nagtataka ako na, saan yung theorem 4.5.9? It's this. Ito. So, itong, itong part na to. So, yung buong statement niyan, yan yung theorem 4.5.9. Para ma para mo yun, no? yung annotated version. Oh. 
Okay, so eh to. Hindi kasi niya nilabel eh. Usually ba si Lightwood may, may nakalagay dito 4.5.9 Ma'am. Hindi na po nalagay. Hindi niya So may typo yan. I think mukhang typo to ng book. So this should be theorem 4.5.9. Tapos, ang, ang result, a to b f of x dx, uh, a to b of k, so some constant, times dx, is equal to constant times b minus a. Yan yan. So, yun. Pakituloy lang na ano, yung, 27, yung 20, 29. Sagutan mo lang siya, tapos patingin lang na sagot mo. So, yung unang integral, yung a, is 4 times So, negative 10 minus negative 5, negative 5. Okay. Ngayon, punta ka naman sa, no, sa number, sa, so we're done with 29, so 31 naman. So, pakita mo lang yun, no, yung, yung process. Okay, okay na po. Oh, so, 31 naman. Approximately the 
Tanya of the Definite Integral Using Gamitin mo yung ano Ang ibig sabihin ay gamitin mo yung int oh. integration function ng calculator mo Okay, so mediated by the mid uh, the graphic confirm the for now uh Hello, Bob? Hindi po ngayon nakasir. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. So, we share, share po yung screen. Ito. Tapos, tingnan natin, yung, tingnan natin yung problem. So, yung problem ay uh, integral of, so, ang 32 is integral of 8 minus x squared. negative 1 to 2. Ngayon, kung if we use using the methods of using the methods of section um, this is 4.6, 4.5, so 4.4, diba? Kung, eh, kung section 4.4 lang yung alam natin at wala tayong theorems, babalik tayo dun sa at delta x is equal to 2 minus negative 1. Tapos yung x sub i, so gamitin ko yung, yung left end point. That's going to be negative 1 plus i minus 1 times delta x from i equals 1. To n tapos on yung integral ang mangyayari so negative 1 all the way to 2 ang makukuha natin ay sum hindi lang sum, limit as n approaches infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n 
8 minus negative 1 plus i minus 1 times delta x over n. square times delta x. Yan yung ano, yan yung gagamitin. So delta x, lagyan na yung sub n para delta sub n. Kasi may depend, yung delta x natin dependent sa, dependent sa n, di ba? Delta sub n of x. Tapos, delta sub n of x. Ganito yung gagawin. Kung ano, kung alam lang natin ay yung method sa previous section, babalik tayo sa kinating i-evaluate itong limit na to. Ngayon, dahil complicated na function na siya, uh, hindi siya win, di ba? So, yung purpose ng theorems ay at this point, the reader is assumed not to have proven yung antiderivative method. Kasi yung, ano yan eh, yung building up process yung math eh. So, dito, ang ina-assume, okay. So, kasi actually yung antiderivative method, di ba? Hinandwave natin yung ano yan eh, yung proof eh. Na mukha siyang ganito. Pero hindi na pinakita na the error goes to na the error goes to zero, for example. Uh, yung method sa ginagawa natin so far, panay, in the spirit of Newton. Hindi pa siya in the spirit of Cushy. Si Cushy, ang goal niya, lahat ng steps or lahat ng ginagawa mo sa calculus, dapat from something solid. Yung hindi ka walang na lahat ng arguments well supported. Which Newton and Leibniz did actually do. Kasi at that time, magul hindi nila, hindi klaro yung idea ng limit. Hindi, walang matinong definition ng derivative, ng derivative at integral. Meron siyang um, ginagamit, pero yun niya. Kasi, kasi di ba, yung limit concept inimbento ni Cushy, well, I think mga 100 or 150 years after, after Newton. So, yung malinis na proof will not exist. So, what Newton did was a mix of intuition and siguro, numerical checking. May, na para makita na may sense yung, mga, yung methods na bi, yung mga sagot ng calculus may sense. So, parang ganun din tayo dito. So, Yung ano dito, yung motivation dito ay slightly more uh, a slightly more rigorous way of doing this. So ito, may idea tayo ano yung limit concept. Tapos ang ginagawa natin dito, di ba? Is to sum natin, take the limit as an approach to infinity. But this but this method which goes back to Archimedes, Archimedes yung nag-invento nito, di ba? Double yung cut and slides and then sum, this method which goes all the way back to Archimedes is not the most convenient way of doing this. So, yung purpose ng theorem sa ipakita na, kaya natin gawin na mas, in a more convenient way. So, for example, yung first theorem from if f of x is, so, yung theorem, di ba? If f of x and g of x, if you have functions, f sub i of x, i runs from 1 all the way to, halimbawa, uh, n. So, may n functions ka. Yung sinasabi ng theorem, yung, yung sinasabi ng theorem are integrable. So, n functions are integrable. Then the sum, the integral of the sum of these functions from 1 to n, from a to b, can be written as the sum 
Ito yung isang theorem kasi, yung generalization. I equals 1 to n of 20 of the individual integrals. Yan yung, ano, yan yung isang theorem. So, by using that theorem, yung negative 1 to 2, 8 minus x squared, mapakita natin na using this theorem, we can write down as 2, 8 dx, and then sum, sige, plus negative. So, ganyan natin yung negative 1 to 2, negative 1 times x squared dx. So, I have. So, I think yung sinasab, I think ano, consequence ng theorem na to. Ngayon, yung next na theorem na gagamitin natin, theorem, if f of x is integrable and k is a constant, So, in the region AB, yung integral of, from A to B of the constant times f of x dx is equal to, we can bring out the constant. Mm -hmm. So, diba? Yung integral natin ngayon, can be written as 8 integral of 1 dx from negative 1 to 2. Actually, yung 8, pwede na itong yan eh. Okay na siya eh. Kasi meron tayong theorem uli eh. Pero may isang theorem din na eh. Yung integral of 1 from a to b is just b minus a. So, we can write it this way. Plus and then negative 1 times integral from negative 1 to 2 of x squared dx. That is a consequence of this. So from this theorem, kaya natin i-split yung integral into the sum of integrals. Ngayon, yung last step, umabot na tayo sa point na hindi natin ma-integrate using without going to the limit. So, yung last step ay, okay, gamitin mo ngayon yung methods from section 4.4 na cut into equal slices and then integrate. So, Ito, hindi ko papakita na. Using methods from section 4.4, which is equal par equal size partition. Hindi ko na po, tanggal niyo yung n and spawn. Take the limit. Diba? Ngayon po. Ngayon, alam natin yung sagot. Ito, kasi... Pakita mo sa appendix. Yun lang yun na dyan. Tapos, pag na-calculate mo na using those methods, sulat mo lang dito. Negative 1 to negative 2 dx is just 2 plus 1, it's 3. Ito, um, yung integral ng x squared over, ng x squared from negative 1 to 2, use yung, equal, yung partition method, and, and then, partition and take limit para mapakita na uh, check ka kung din okay, kung ako calculate ko lang so So, pakita. Hindi. Gamitin yung anti-derivative method para makuha, para makita, para makuha na yung sagot. 
This is 8 over 3 minus negative 1 over 3 or 8 plus 1, 9 over 3. That's just 3. So ito, so play natin ito. Kasi at this stage, illegal method siya. Yung legal method ay yun, i-cut up mo yung gamitin mo yung partition method. So, using this, when I makalculate negative 1 to 2 of 8 minus x squared dx must be 8 times 3 plus negative 1 times 3. 8 minus 1 is 7. So, we get 21. Okay. So, hanap ko yung calculator ko. Tapos, integrate natin using our calculator then. So, using the numerical integral in the, cal in the calculator, anong lalabas? So, 8 minus x squared dx. So, 8 minus x squared from negative 1 to 2, 21, which agrees with the calculator. Calculator result. So, ganyan lang siya. Parang nyali, isipin mo na, ano, na in-explain mo yan sa isang, sa isang student na hindi pa marunong mag-antiderivatives pero marunong nang gumamit ng slice and sum at saka alam niyang gamitin yung theorems. Kasi pag gumamit ka ng antiderivative, di ba? Ba't siya maniniwala sa'yo na hindi pa niya pinuprove yun? No, no. Diba? So, parang ganun siya. Ganyan yung, ganyan, that's, it's that kind of problem. Okay, so do the same thing for number 31. So, yung mga ano, yung integrals of powers of x from a to b, yes, yung muna na ano, pwede mo sa permit na kita na gumamit ka ng anti-derivative para makuha yun. At least para alam mo yung numerical value. Tapos, as an appendix, gawin mo siya, gawin mo yung integrals ng 1x, x square, x cube. Kung yun, kung at least kung ano yung nagpakita, dito sa problems. I think yung highest power dito ay na lalabas ay x square. So, okay. So, ano na? 30, 31. Ay, sorry. Ito pala. May nakalagay na dito, oh. May table ng values. Tingnan mo yung, ano, yung problem statement ng exercise 31 to 42. May table na siya of, integral, of basic integrals. So, use the theorems and the table to simplify. Tige po. Ayun 
wala pa yun na yun kung bumi lang Kaya stop, stop share na ako para makita ko yung ginagawa mo. Ay, hindi pala ako lang siya. Okay. So, so, first to them and then using the table. Uh, 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 I-copy-paste mo yung table na yung table na binigay na, ano, na table ni Lightbolt. So, okay. yan. Ayan, ayan, eh. Tingnan mo yung just before, just before the problem, yung problem statement. Nandun yun. Problem statement? Um, ayan. Okay, zoom in. Just before number 31. May table siyang binigay. It is assumed na, so you may use the following integrals. Okay. So, bawal po gumamit ng anything else, basically. Uh, just the theorems and the given integrals. Oh. Thank you. 
Yun. So, Sir P3. yun so back under control hmm. yun eh isa-isayin mo huwag mong kasi so iwan mo yung 5 sa loob kasi ibang di ba yung sum so first yung sum theorem and then yung constant theorem Ganyan mo siya gawin. Para ano yun, every step justified. My vendors will be working with magnitude. Okay, ngayon, pwede mo nang ilabas kasi new, isang ipang theorem yung gagamitin mo ngayon. Uh. Ano mo yung mga ano, di ba? Pag may multiple multiple theorems kang ginamit, gawin mo siya, i-apply mo sila isa-isa para madaling maintindihan. So, ganun din yung ginagawa niya dito. Okay. Yun.
Two to neg two to negative one is not the same as negative one to two, right? Yeah, wala. Na no. Sa budo ko na. Ne, so yung two to negative one, anong value nun? Ang binigay sa table ay negative one to two. Oh, oh, I did not, I did not know that. Tapos, this. yung 33, negative 5 plus 1, uh, negative 4. Ganun yung ano, tiga ka. 2 times 3, minus 5 times negative 1 to 2, of x x dx diba? so dapat 3 halves plus 1 half tapos yung integral ng x square should be 3 
6 minus 5 times 3 plus 15. Bakit? Pwedeng pakini-check yung ano, yung yung ano, yung 5 minus 5 times 3 have I think may mali dun sa ano, sa da, sa simplification mo ng 33. Kasi chinek ko using my calculator eh, yung, yung same thing. 6 minus 5 times 3 halves plus 3 divided by 2. Tama naman yung, ano, yung, yung second to the last line. Yung 6 minus 7, yun yung problema. Okay. Ngayon, so, negative 1 to 2, dapat magkaka-negative sign. Okay, so negative 21. Oh, sige. So we'll stop here for now. Tapos, we resume tayo sa uh, Thursday. Sa 24. Sa, I think 25. Kasi, oh. diba, may, may vacation kayo for the next two weeks. Oh, sige. So tandaan lang natin kung saan tayo nag-stop. Yep. Okay, so we'll stop here. Tapos, have a good vacation, and I'll see you again two weeks from now. Bye bye. Bye bye.